Hi guys, it's me Chazzer HD, and in this video, we are going to analyse the big incident from the 2021 British Grand Prix, the crash between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen at Cops Corner on the first lap of the British Grand Prix. Now, we're going to ignore what happened earlier on on the first lap, and we're just going to get straight into this because you guys don't want to hear about you know anything else. So let's just get straight into it, and I will give my analysis here and i will give my reasons as to why i think certain things happened and why i think say this person was at fault and this person wasn't i'll get into that right now so on the entry to cops corner here you can see lewis hamilton he's got in the search stream of verstappen on the run to cops now pulls to the inside to try and make a very surprise uh, move for the lead of the grand prix and then as we get to about this point where I would say Verstappen and Hamilton are just about starting to lift off going into Cops Corner. Hamilton is almost fully alongside, but Verstappen does still have just about enough of his car ahead of Lewis Hamilton there. Let's move it further on. And I said this during my race watch along. Because Lewis... <laughs> Because Lewis Hamilton is on the inside of Cops Corner where it's dirty, you know, there's a lot of marbles there. And because the nature of this corner, it's ideal to be on the outside of the corner rather than on the inside. Because on the inside, it does become very tight. And again, it's not the ideal line through this corner. As you'll see, Max Verstappen will progressively move ahead of Hamilton because Verstappen is on the ideal line compared to Lewis Hamilton. Now. There's no problem with Lewis Hamilton putting up the inside of another car at that corner, as we'll see later when I'll show how he was able to pass Charles Leclerc and compare the two, because they are, you know, similar in um, certain ways. But, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with Lewis Hamilton putting his car up the inside. But I think what you have to realise is, again, because Verstappen is on the ideal line and has more grip where he is max verstappen is always going to you know during say the mid part of the corner get himself more so back ahead of lewis hamilton and because hamilton you know first lap home grand prix and again he's on the dirtier side of the track there unless he was really careful about it it was always going to be hard for him to keep himself from you know straying from the apex of the corner but you'll see as it goes on at this point right before contact again because max verstappen is on the ideal line that's why verstappen has moved so far ahead because you cannot be on the inside of this corner because you can't carry enough speed through the corner to give yourself the best speed through cops corner and i know say at some corners maybe most that we have in formula one you know, having the inside line is ideal, but at this corner, given the way it is, as long as you hold that outside line and you're stable and firm, you are going to, if there's no contact, maintain position over your rival. Because again, the grip is simply better around the outside. Now, I do have to clarify before we get into who was at fault here. Max Verstappen, firstly... Yes, Verstappen is turning right, but I think we do have to remember it's a right-hander. He has to turn right eventually. But also, yes, he is coming, say, more so across from where he was at the far left-hand side on the curb, on the entry. But again, he has to now come over because if he, he puts himself too wide, he'll go off the track anyway and into the gravel trap and maybe, at best, on the exit... Um, say runoff area of cops corner which of course he doesn't want to do and you can see here verstappen yes he has come say a bit more so towards the right but in no way in my view is max verstappen trying to say go to the apex of the corner he's put positioning his car in the middle of the corner now as we'll show or as i will show rather with the charles leclerc lewis hamilton 
uh, piece of racing later in the race. There's nothing wrong with Verstappen positioning his car to the middle of the track. The only thing is, if the other car he is racing does not position their car really right on the inside curb and as far to the inside as they can, then it's going to be very hard for contact not to be made. Lewis Hamilton, as you can see here, does have... Because you can see he's not really going to hit the curb there, which is pretty much, of course, the apex. And he does have, if you look at his right front tire to the white line just before the white, uh, the black and white curb starts. Lewis Hamilton does have some space to move over. Not a lot. Granted, not a lot. I'm not saying he had, you know, half a track to move over. But Lewis Hamilton did not position himself far enough, in my view, to the right-hand side to make sure he got through the corner with Max Verstappen without having an accident. And, like I said, because he was carrying a tad too much uh, speed into the corner, and because he was on the dirtier side of the track, and because he failed to position his car as far to the inside as he could, Lewis Hamilton was always going to run just a tad wide enough for this to happen. Contact being made between Hamilton and Verstappen. And I have to say as well with Lewis Hamilton, I mean, I have seen some reaction online and some people are making out that Lewis Hamilton did a, you know, what Senna did to Prost at Suzuka in 1990, where he just, you know, kept his throttle down and punted Verstappen straight off. That's not what happened here. It was just Hamilton misplaced his car. Even though I will say, while saying that, he, he hasn't misplaced it massively. It's only a slight adjustment that needed to be made. Also, I will add, which I know people have said before in my uh, analysis videos, it's all great me looking at this in still images, but we have to remember this is happening at full speed. But still, given the quality of Lewis Hamilton, I still believe he is good enough to make those adjustments in those very quick moments because he is, for me, the best driver still on the grid and the greatest driver of all time. So I do believe Lewis Hamilton can make those adjustments and we'll see with the Leclerc incident that he could actually do that. So yeah, we'll see that in a moment. But I do have to make clear that Lewis Hamilton, even though I do believe he made a, a mistake, again, not positioning his car far enough to the inside, let's not pretend like he, you know, didn't lift off and just went straight into Verstappen deliberately or locked up and took Verstappen straight off and made a really bad error. It was only a slight error that, granted, led to quite a nasty accident for Max Verstappen. But in my view, Lewis Hamilton, and it is still close in terms of it possibly being a racing incident, and I will say, I do agree, well not agree, but I do see why people say it's a racing incident. I completely see their point, but because, in my view, Lewis Hamilton did not do everything in his power, given the corner and the way the corner is, because, in my view, he didn't do enough in his power to avoid the crash, therefore, he did deserve the penalty he got, which, of course, was a 10-second penalty. Now, that's another thing we need to get on to, is the penalty and whether it was just. Now, 10 second penalty, of course, is going to affect someone's race. It didn't affect Lewis Hamilton's race because he still won the Grand Prix, which really should have been doing considering Mercedes, you know, have been quicker than Ferrari, who they were in very close contention with for the race win. They've been much quicker than them this season, so they really should have won the race anyway, even if he had a 10 second penalty there. But, I completely understand and agree to a certain extent that the punishment doesn't fit the crime because at the end of the day, he's took out probably the favourite for victory as someone who, if he had remained ahead of Lewis Hamilton, probably, I believe, would have won the race. Would have been close. Would have been close. I'm not saying Verstappen would have guaranteed ran away with the Grand Prix. But, again, taking out a main rival and still benefiting in terms of the world championship by getting the full amount of points except of course for the fastest lap point 
I completely understand why people are saying that the punishment doesn't fit the crime because Lewis Hamilton didn't suffer. But if you look at the penalties in Formula One, <clears throat> if you look at the penalties in Formula One and what can be given to a driver, I don't believe they really, the stewards, could have given Lewis Hamilton a harsher penalty because... I mean, they don't use the drive-through penalty anymore. That was an old penalty that it rarely used, so they're not going to use that again. The five-second penalty is used for, say, not, say, really bad stuff or really dramatic stuff. It's, say, more so minor stuff. Um, so that's what the five-second penalty for is for. The ten-second penalty for Hamilton, I do agree with. The reason being is because he literally punted someone out of the Grand Prix. Not deliberately, and we'll get onto that in a moment because that is complete rubbish. Anyone saying that that Hamilton did uh, did this on purpose, but again, because he, in making this mistake, punted Verstappen straight off the Grand Prix, I do think the ten second penalty was the right decision. Because again, drive through penalty, they're not going to give him that because they never give anyone that. I don't believe a ten second stop go penalty is the right penal uh punishment rather because i just think it's too harsh because at the end of the day it's not as if lewis hamilton did say lock up and just completely slam verstappen clearly off circuit and there's no doubt about it that it's hamilton's fault it is still a 60 40 say in terms of the blame or not the blame but you know the way the incident unfolded um, it's not as if, like I said, it's not as if Verstappen was clearly ahead of Hamilton, whole car ahead, and Hamilton just sailed straight into the side of him, carrying 30 mile an hour more speed. It's, you know, it's not like that. Um, so again, I don't think it was obviously bad enough for a 10 second stop go penalty, and for the people saying he should have been disqualified, they're just idiots, because Lewis Hamilton did not do anything worthy of a disqualification, because there was nothing deliberate about what he did. If it was clearly deliberate, I think they would have disqualified him for sure, but it wasn't deliberate, and anyone saying that it was deliberate is an absolute idiot, but I, th I will say, yes, given the penalties we have in Formula 1, the 10 second penalty he got, in my view, was just, but I will say there may be in the future should be another type of punishment to avoid this happening again where even though the driver is punished, they don't really lose anything in terms of points or position or anything like that. I do think they need to find something that can still punish the driver uh, when this happens. I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comment section if you have an idea, but nothing for me comes to mind straight away in terms of what they could um, come up with to properly punish the driver for, say, taking out another driver um in the grand prix but before we get into anything else in terms of uh, the reaction to this incident let's also go through the lewis hamilton and charles leclerc uh, piece of racing at cops corner on lap 50 out of 52 because what you're about to see is lewis hamilton racing another car into cops corner but doing it properly and doing it the way he should have done with Max Verstappen. So you can see he's going to sail it down the inside of Leclerc. And then at this point, kind of similar, Leclerc does have his car slightly ahead of him. You can't see it here, but if you look at the wider shot on, say, the TV broadcast, Leclerc does have his car at worst fully alongside, but I think slightly ahead of Hamilton. But you can see Lewis Hamilton, look how far his car is now compared to... The, uh, the uh, Verstappen incident, look how far to the inside he is now than he was. And I'll do a comparison, actually, in just a moment. And you can see here, actually, just through the halo, he does have his right front tyre on the black and white kerb. When, if we just go back to this picture, you can see that he is nowhere near as far to the inside in this incident, as he was with Charles Leclerc. Again, I'll do a quick comparison. You can see here, not as far to the inside. But this time, he's as far to the inside as he can be to make sure him and Leclerc get through the corner without an accident. 
And of course it did benefit him because as you see, just here Leclerc just heading off circuit. Of course that's how Lewis Hamilton won the Grand Prix. But again, go back to that picture. Again, Lewis Hamilton as far to the inside as he possibly can be. But when we go back and look at the Verstappen incident, he's not far enough to the inside to make sure him and Verstappen get through the corner without having an accident. And that's why he was given a penalty for what I believe to be, but also what the stewards believe to be, an avoidable collision. That's why they give him a penalty. And also, if you look at Verstappen's car, he's, say, in the middle of the corner um, at Cops. If you look at Leclerc, as we go back to him, with that right front tyre, I mean, it's harder to see, but he is also in the middle-ish part of the corner. So he's in a similar position to where Verstappen was in the corner. Not the exact same, but a similar position. But because Hamilton is more over to the right, again, as I'll show... You can see that difference. Hamilton more over to the right. He's able to get through just fine, not hitting Leclerc. And of course, he made the overtake work. But as I said, with this, he wasn't far enough over to the right to get through without um, avoiding or, you know, with, without hitting Max Verstappen. So I do believe, like I said, Lewis Hamilton deserved the penalty. And it's a shame what happened for Verstappen. But I don't really think Verstappen could have done anything, honestly, really differently from uh, what he did. Because, like I said, if you look back again, Leclerc is also in the same position on the track. And it was more so Hamilton's positioning that I think affected things there. Of course, in this incident, Hamilton then passed Charles Leclerc here. Uh, so Leclerc was heading off the circuit on the exit of Cops. And, of course, then Lewis Hamilton won the Grand Prix, which, of course, like I said before, because... He still won the race. I completely understand why people are, uh, are saying that the punishment didn't fit the crime because he didn't lose anything in terms of his result for, for you know for what happened there. But with the penalties we have, I don't see how he really could have got a harsher penalty because I don't think it uh, constituted a harsher penalty. I just don't think it did. Now, before we get to the very end of this video... Here's an overall uh, higher shot. And you can see, again, Hamilton there, not as far to the inside as he could have been um, when he was with Charles Leclerc. You can clearly see it there. I just want to get into a couple things, a couple of allegations or reactions I have seen um, online because it's been a very bad-tempered, I think, affair say, since the uh, British Grand Prix. It really has. Um, so first off, Lewis Hamilton did not deliberately crash into Max Verstappen. That is complete bullshit. Anyone saying that is absolutely insane. The reason being is because Max Verstappen coming into this race le uh, led the championship <clears throat> by 33 points. And Lewis Hamilton, if he was to deliberately or try to deliberately take out Max Verstappen... He is also at massive risk, if not the same risk, of him retiring from the Grand Prix or suffering really bad damage that affects his result if he was to attempt to do that. So he doesn't really have anything to gain if he was to deliberately take out Max Verstappen because he could easily damage his own car. And also, like I said in the watch along, I think Hamilton was lucky that the red flag came out because he did have some damage on his front wing which we didn't get to see whether that damage would have been bad enough for Lewis Hamilton uh, to really suffer in the race. But like I said, I, I just don't think Hamilton would deliberately take out another rival because especially when he's 33 points at the time behind that rival because he could easily, in trying to do that, take himself off and that uh, his rival continues and then scores more points. It's just not worth it. And the only way... I could, say, see that happening is, say, if Lewis Hamilton was in the lead of the championship, which he isn't. Um, so, like I said, there's nothing really to gain from him doing that. And anyone saying that, like I said, it's just absolutely insane. Also, like I said a moment ago, anyone saying he should have been disqualified is, again, absolutely insane. What he did was a mistake, but it was not, you know, he didn't... And I've seen this plenty online as well. Lewis Hamilton did not murder someone. He did not kill someone. He did not attempt to murder someone. 
please stop with those words because they're very strong words and they do not you know they're not appropriate for this at the end of the day it's a fast corner contact was made Yes, Verstappen went into the barriers very hard and very quickly at 150 miles an hour. I get that. But please stop pretending like Lewis Hamilton did it on purpose and was trying to hurt Max Verstappen in any way. And that that constituted a disqualification because that's complete rubbish and you know it. And anyone making that argument is, it's got to be either insane or a child because it, 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 this is not the case at all. At all. And also... Another thing I will say in terms of what punishment Hamilton should have got is just because Verstappen had to go to the hospital does not mean Lewis Hamilton's punishment should therefore be worse than it was. Lewis Hamilton, kind of like I said, did not intend for Verstappen to visit the hospital with possible uh, concussion symptoms. That was not Lewis Hamilton's intention. That was sadly the result of contact being made at such a fast corner. And like I said, because that happened to Verstappen, that does not therefore mean that Hamilton should get XYZ penalty because of that. You need to, if you're going to give a penalty, you've got to do it based on the actual incident, not whether, you know, the driver suffers an injury, which I know certain people will say, well, what if it's a really serious injury or even worse than that? Even in those instances, I think you've you've got to forget about that because, you know, drivers, they're not trying to kill each other. And that's a ridiculous, you know, conspiracy that people are coming up with. It really is. And I cannot believe people are actually putting it, putting it out there. It's truly mental that people are putting that out there. Lewis Hamilton, yeah, he's competitive. Maybe you could say he's a sore loser. I mean, of course, uh, Alex Albin has said that before. But, you know, maybe you can say that. But he's not going to deliberately try to hurt people because he desperately wants to win the British Grand Prix. That is such a fucking insane thing to say. It really, really is. So even though, like I said, I think Hamilton was at fault, please calm down with the... He deliberately tried to cheat... He tried to hurt Verstappen, tried to take him out to, so he could claw back points in the championship, even though he's taking a massive risk himself doing that because he could easily retire trying that. Just please stop and please, again, calm down. Think logically and rationally and reasonably about what happened because those types of things are just pie in the sky, just, like I said, absolutely mental um, stuff. Also, one thing I do want to talk about is there was um, some criticism of some fans cheering Max Verstappen going off. Now, I have seen some clips. I have to illustrate that it wasn't everybody in the crowd who was doing that. Those people in the crowd who were doing that, they are wrong. They shouldn't be F1 fans as as, as far as I'm concerned. But let's be clear, not everyone was doing that. And don't let the minority which is similar to, you know, the whole England-European Championship final where the England fans, you know, the minority of England fans were dicks. Don't let the minority of fans who are dicks paint the majority or everyone as a dick. Please, you know, don't do that because it wasn't everyone. Yeah, audibly you could hear cheers, but it wasn't the whole crowd. So, again, please, please don't do that because uh, there's some people being tarred with an unfair brush, I believe. When it comes to that but i mean coming away from this incident i think these two definitely now the gloves are off i wouldn't be surprised if max and lewis make contact in hungary because especially at turn one there where it's a very heavy breaking zone and on the first lap i think definitely we could see some proper fireworks um in two weeks but i think definitely like i said the gloves are off with these two and Kind of similar to Hamilton and Vettel after that incident in Baku in 2017. They were all not pally, but respectful of each other. And then once that first incident happened, gloves were off and they, I won't say despised each other, but really had a lot of tension with each other. And I think that's what's going to happen here. But I think it might be a bit more feisty here because Max Verstappen, of course, is a lot younger than Sebastian Vettel was. But... Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think of the incident? Did you think the penalty was fair? Whose fault was it? Let me know. And also, 
like I said, please don't be spouting those just bullshit claims that Hamilton was trying to kill someone or stuff like that because it's just absolute rubbish. And also, it doesn't just go for me. I mean, if you think what I'm saying is wrong, then, you know, you can disagree. Anyone can disagree. I, I don't really care. But just please don't go personal or anything like that because if you do that, then you're just really lowering yourself to a god almighty low level so please just don't do that and as well if you disagree with anyone in the comment section don't you know resort to insults and personal remarks and stuff like that again i know people are heated after this but just calm down at the end of the day yeah verstappen had to go to hospital and you know he's fine but at the end of the day it is only a race life is more important than just you know the british grand prix so just calm down think rationally reasonably and just say what you think but again please don't go over emotional and start insulting people because they have a different view um to what you have or you know because you're a fan of a certain driver just please don't do it because if you do then you know, you're probably not going to comment on any of my videos or be seen commenting on my videos ever again. But like I said, make sure to comment down below what you thought of the incident and what you think this means going forward. Um, and yeah, until the next Grand Prix, the Hungarian Grand Prix, where I'll be live in, what, 11 days or so from now for a qualifying day in Hungary. It has been me, Kazar HD. Goodbye.